a mysterious signal has been reaching Earth every 22 minutes for over 35 years. This signal has no known natural source and repeats itself with a regularity that makes it particularly mysterious and unique. The source of this signal has been sought several times, but to this day, it remains unclear whether it's a natural signal, a previously unknown phenomenon, or a message from other life forms. The signal, now called GPNJ183910, is definitely one of the strangest signals astronomers have ever received from the universe, and it could change our understanding of the universe and our own role in it forever. For 35 years, this signal has been calling us, and it's shocking that scientists didn't understand this call at first. For decades, the strange beeping from space was even forgotten, until a scientist once again became aware of the call and recognized the connection. GPNJ183910 is by no means the only unexplained signal from space. In fact, we receive frequencies from the universe on a daily basis that we do not yet know exactly where they come from or who or what is emitting them. These strange signals from space show how much we still have to learn about the universe. They inspire scientists to keep developing new technologies and researching theories to solve the mysteries of the cosmos. In 1988, no one had any idea what was in store for us. Have you ever thought about the fact that the universe is actually made of sound and waves? Even though, strictly speaking, the interstellar medium does not conduct audible sound, waves and frequencies are still constantly reaching us. Many of these sounds and signals are not audible to our ears, but we can detect them using radio astronomy. The signal, known as GPNJ183910, was discovered by astronomers at the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research. This was in 1988 when it occupied the scientific community for some time and then fell into oblivion. It was only recently that the signal was noticed again and a scientist compared his latest observation data with old archive data. In doing so, he discovered that the signal had already been noticed more than 35 years ago. The frequencies and pulses have remained exactly the same. GPNJ183910 consists of regular pulses of energy, each lasting about 5 minutes and coming from a distance of about 15,000 light years. In 1988, the shield constellation was considered as the source, but the researchers were unable to determine an exact source. Today, the unusual regularity and the duration of the signal is once again intriguing researchers and has prompted them to use the latest technologies to unravel the mystery after all. One of the first hypotheses was that the source could be a pulsar, that is, a rotating neutron star that emits extremely high energy beams. However, Pulsars slow down over time and their pulses become weaker, which has not been observed at all for GPNJ183910 over the last 35 years. But what can generate a signal of this strength, range, and continuity? A magnetar? This theory suggests that a magnetar, a rare type of neutron star with an extremely strong magnetic field, could be the cause. However, even these stars normally send their pulses at shorter intervals than 22 minutes, and not over a period of 35 years. The most exciting and dangerous theory is that the signal could originate from an extraterrestrial civilization. Due to the regularity and strength of the signal, it falls into the category of technological signatures, signals that remain unchanged over a long period of time and sound too technical to be of natural origin could indicate a deliberate transmission. Some scientists have even speculated that it could be a Dyson Sphere, a hypothetical structure built by an advanced civilization to harness the energy of a star. This theory could explain why the signal is so consistent and strong, even though it comes from a source that should not produce radio emissions according to our current physical models. A Galactic Call what is GPNJ183910 really? Can you imagine that somewhere, aliens are sending mega-strong signals 
with ranges of several thousand light years into space. The discovery of GPNJ 183910 has not only aroused the curiosity of radio astronomers, puzzles like this continue to challenge our theories about the nature of the universe. And we also have to face the uncomfortable question of the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligence. It would be fatal to believe that we really know we can assess the universe. So far, we have only explored a very small part of it and are constantly coming up against our limits. The universe is certainly full of exciting, thrilling, and beautiful facts and phenomena. But the universe can also harbor previously unknown dangers. What do we really know about other civilizations and how would we know if these species are friendly? It can seem almost spooky to receive a techno signature of this magnitude that has been transmitting constantly for 35 years and has such an unusual range. If we are really dealing with an alien power plant, then the ideas about hugely advanced civilizations in space must be true. Species that are able to build Dyson spheres should theoretically also have space travel technologies that make faster than light travel possible. Even more advanced civilizations could have such supernatural powers that they become co-creators of the universe. Does that sound exciting to you? Then consider the sinister side of this possibility. If it really is a humanoid culture or some other intelligent life form that has been sending the signal for 35 years, these beings sent the signal more than 15,000 years ago. These signals travel at close to the speed of light. So we are eerily hearing into a past so far back that we humans had no technology or were advanced or cultured in any way back then. What would this species that sent the signal back then have been doing in the last 15,000 years? Are these beings moving through space? And if so, why has no one ever contacted us directly? If this civilization still exists today, then they would be somewhere in the universe, and we can assume that the species sending the signal is not the only one. There are always rumors that there are many alien races and civilizations, and it is even claimed that our governments know about them. But officially, there are no contacts. In this context, the signal that has been reaching us continuously for 35 years is almost spooky. And GPNJ 183910 is by no means the only signal that gives us food for thought. Wow! FRBs and red dwarfs, even more confusing signals from space. Something that many people don't realize is that we are not only monitoring the universe visually around the clock, but also acoustically. Huge radio wave receivers pick up all sounds from space around the clock. The largest facility of its kind is located in Arecibo in Puerto Rico and catches the signals with a huge dish. Other radio telescopes consist of many individual telescopes. The constant noise of the universe is an incredible wealth of frequencies and signals. It is impossible to always catch and identify all messages. We may miss many important signals that we have not yet been able to isolate from the usual noise. Today, we have computers that scan the data and register anomalies immediately. In 1977, this was still done by hand. It was August 15th when astronomer Jerry R. Emmon was going through his list of frequencies and discovered something unusual. Emmon simply wrote, wow, next to the soundtrack and later showed it to his colleagues. Emmon was working as part of the SETI project. SETI stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence and is dedicated to the search for and identification of signals that may be sent by extraterrestrial beings. The WOW signal was received at the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University. The signal, which came from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, was incredibly strong and lasted 72 seconds. Although Emin and his colleagues searched intensely for the source or knew similar signals, the origin could never be found and the signal did not repeat itself. Just as mysterious as the 72-second but incredible intense WOW signal are fast radio bursts. These extremely short but very high-energy radio flashes only last milliseconds. We've only been technically capable of filtering and recognizing such signals since 2007. Since then, 
FRBs have been received from various parts of the universe, and we must assume that there are even more signals on the way within the universe that we may not be able to recognize and thus decode. Particularly notable among the fast radio bursts is FRB 121-101, a reoccurring burst of lightning-like signals from a dwarf galaxy some 3 billion light-years away. So far, neutron stars and black holes have been named as the natural cause of these bursts. But even here, we cannot be sure whether these signals are from extraterrestrial technologies. Let's move on to an even stranger candidate. In 2015, astronomer Tavia Boyajian discovered a star with irregular and dramatic fluctuations in brightness. The star KIC 8462852 subsequently became famous because it could theoretically be surrounded by a Dyson sphere. If this is true, we would be dealing with the signs of activity by extraterrestrial beings, and we would be much more closer to realizing that we are not alone in the universe. In 2017, astronomers discovered strange signals from Ross 128, a red dwarf star just 11 light years away. These signals were strongly reminiscent of radio frequencies transmitted by satellites. Although the exact source could never be determined, one of the most logical explanations to date is a geostationary satellite in the vicinity of the star. The new radio super telescope should clarify GPNJ183910. What we urgently need to clarify these mysterious signals is technological progress. To unravel the mystery of GPNJ183910, scientists are relying on the latest technological approaches. The use of artificial intelligence to analyze huge amounts of data and recognize patterns that remain invisible to the human ear and eye sounds promising. Research groups around the world are currently training AIs to sift through astronomical data and show us what we have missed or overheard. This could lead to a breakthrough in space exploration in just a few years. Coupled with quantum computers, these intelligences would be even more powerful and could possibly provide us with the key to the universe. The world's largest radio telescope is currently being built in Australia and South Africa. The Square Kilometer Array will offer unprecedented sensitivity and resolution with a total collection area of one square kilometer. Become a subscriber now and be part of every new video.